Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you are all doing well. I wanted to come on here today and do a little bit of a updated makeup tutorial. Um, it is pretty much, I think, completely changed since my last one. And I don't even know if the last one is still up on my channel. I have no idea. I hide videos like there's no tomorrow, <laughs> so like I have no idea. I have definitely changed completely my makeup that I do every single day. I'm definitely a lot more focused on skin and really letting my freckles show through and less is more type of makeup. Um, it takes me five minutes. It's just light, it's dewy, it's super minimal, out the door, but I feel like a little spicy, a little, um, you know, like remind myself who I am kind of thing. Like you are that bitch, okay? You are her, she is you, y'all are one, and you can do anything that your heart desires. That's what makeup does for me. Even just a light little glow, like just anything to just make you feel like on, you know? So anyways, I just wanted to update you guys, do a little chit chat, what have I been up to, things that I've been doing to keep me sane during this time. For starters, um, for my foundation, I've been using the Laura Mercier 10 Moisturizer Illuminating Natural Skin Perfector in color Natural Radiance. So I do about that much. And oh, actually, actually, first I spray my face with this e.l.f. It is the Dewy Setting Mist. Smells like coconuts. I feel like I'm at the beach. It's amazing. So I do that. Let me zoom you in a little bit. Okay. Sorry, Naya is sleeping in my lap, so I'm like trying not to move wake her up that would be tragedy of the century obviously oh i woke her up <laughs> so much for that so anyways um i got bit by a dog and that's why i mean it's not a secret self tanner is terrible like i still have never mastered my hands so for the first couple of days i look like this um, but this hand is particularly worse because there's bruises on my fingers, a couple of them. So, and like through my knuckles, so it looks worse on this hand versus this hand. But also, because, because of the dog bite or whatever, I usually have like a bandage on it and it's still my skin is kind of like open. So I haven't been wanting to like rub product together and rub it on my face, but on a regular, regular day when I'm not working with the injury <laughs> then that's what I would do but today I'm just gonna kind of like like dab it and then take my, like this hand and rub it whereas normally I would just like rub both of them together so I started watching Shit's Creek and it's amazing only complaint is that it's already over like it ended um and there's like six seasons but it's so easy to fly through them because they're so easy to watch um they're just like so easy to watch and they're hysterical I literally like laugh out loud, cackle. It's amazing. So if you haven't watched it, you should. And if you have watched it and you love it, tell me who your favorite character is. I love David. I feel like it's pretty much everyone's favorite is David, but um, Moira is hysteric. I mean, they're all really good. Honestly, like Alexis really isn't my favorite. She's kind of annoying to me, but um, she's like, She's getting it to be like okay at this point. Like I don't not love her, but she's still just like not my favorite. So I definitely think it would be David, Moira, Johnny, and hmm. She's like my top three. So as you can see, very gentle. 
Okay, now for concealer, I'm gonna go in with the Benefit Boing, the Hydrating Concealer in color medium. Just do that. Don't use like a, a whole bunch of this. I just use it to kind of like cancel out the purple under my eyes. It's a pretty thin consistency. It's definitely light coverage. Um, and then I just go in with my hand and just kind of like pat it in. For me personally, I love this makeup look. Like I want it to look like my skin. I want you to be able to see imperfections. So like I don't like I don't necessarily care if the purple or like under eye discoloration isn't completely covered up because like that's just life. But I do want it to just look a touch better. See, so yeah, I love that Benefit Boing Concealer. I've literally used it on and off since like 2014, 2013. So like a long time now and it's still obviously one of my go-tos on my ride or dies. Especially if you have freckles, I feel like it just is beautiful because it's such a hydrating dewy finish. So, and it's a light coverage, so it kind of like helps fix what you're trying to fix, but um, it doesn't make you look muddy or dirty because it's not like a matte or a flat finish so um if you have freckles and you want like light coverage i highly 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 recommend that okay now for bronzer i'm going with the it cosmetics cc bronzer and this is the color bronze glow i don't know if they just have like one color in it or not who knows i'm just taking a little my sephora vib rouge brush and I'm just gonna put this in all the normal places that you would bronze or whatever. I like to do a little on my eyes like that. Oh, do you guys like my earrings? They are from my shop, Shop Vivita. They're just little chunky sparkle hoop earrings. Love them. Okay, so now that I have that on, I'm pretty much almost done, honestly. I definitely have more natural like redness to my face, so I don't use a blush because you can still see like the natural redness come through my cheeks throughout the day. So like I don't want to like add on to that. When I feel like I'm looking a tad washed out, I will add this Lancome Absolute Powder and color Absolute Golden, but it's not at all golden. It's very like pink. I think I might add a touch of it today, but at the very end, maybe, I don't know. Um, now for just a touch of highlighter, I'm going in with Tower 28 in their Super Dew, there's no shade, just that's what it is. Taking it, kind of warming it up between my fingers, smiling, and then just popping her. So I love it because there's no glitter to it. It's literally just a balm. I don't know if you'll be able to tell. Like if you get it, I recommend doing a really small amount and it helps to warm it in between both fingers because if you go in with like a crazy amount and like without warming it, it's like kind of sticky on your face. And I just do not like the feeling of like stickiness on my face at all, obviously. For powder, I'm literally just going to do a touch of my Hourglass Mineral Veil on a big brush just on the very bottom of my face.
again my camera overheated what's new so sorry if it's like different lighting or different zoom whatever okay now that we have that i just did the hourglass veil on the bottom half of my face going in with the real techniques brush and i'm on i'm just gonna take it and do it like right just on my eyelids Then I'm going to go and you can use your bronzer um, or you don't even have to do this step really. I'm just going to go with my Persona Identity 2 palette in the color Loyal. And this is a Morphe M511. And literally, this is all. Boom, that's it. There we go. I'm just gonna take it a little under here. Honestly, if you have like dark circles on the tops of your eyes, I would just work with that and like pretend that's eyeshadow. Um, then I'm just going to get out anything that could be in my brows. So wipe them off. Then I'm going to go with my Benefit Gimme Brow. Um, besides Schitt's Creek, I have been loving... I watch her for years now. Um, sometimes I would just get in these moods where like I just want to go back and watch like nothing but her videos. And HRH Collection or Alex. I've been binging all of her stuff lately. She is just love her um so yes i've been watching schitt's creek hrh collection also i've been so i'm just going to take this i'm going to get off a lot of the excess i did tint my brows the other night so they're pretty much kind of filled in already but i'm just going to do a little bit to kind of make them look like they have something in it to match the rest of my face so i'm just going to take this and just go up Anyways, so watch HRH Collection, Schitt's Creek. I'm trying to see, make sure you can see this. At least three times a week, I've been trying to do just like a quick 15 or 20 minute hit workout. Um, they're just like really intense. So like kind of get it over with. And then on the other days, maybe go on a walk or something like that. Or just be outside. I got in early... I got an early 2000s vibe. Um, let's see, a little more. There we go. I'm like slunched over, but it's fine. Um, anyways, I got an early 2000s vibes um, layout chair, like one of the old, like kind of like vinyl acrylic y. You guys know what I'm talking about? So I've been like loving that. Um, that's another thing I've been doing. So I've been laying out in that. I've been reading Jessica Simpson's um, book. Oh, I think it's called Open Book. Um, that's really good. I just got to the part where she's talking about dating John Mayer. So that's interesting. Um, honestly, he's everything I feel like anyone would think he would be. Um, or was back then. So that has been really good definitely recommend it i really didn't like keep up with her in the early 2000s and then i really don't keep up with her now but i just something about like celeb books i just really wanted to read it so that's been cool um see i just like to brush this is the worst angle but i try to like brush them up and out because i just love like a messy brow 
And I feel like it goes with this look anyways because this isn't like a super polished look. It's just like, is she born that way? Is this her skin? Is it makeup? Who knows? So before I do mascara, I'm going to go in one more time with this e.l.f. beauty spray. Kind of let that dry. But I have been laying out and I'm just like, will I regret this? Because I've definitely gotten more freckles. Um, and I go through phases where I'm like, oh, I love my freckles. Like, whatever. And then sometimes I'm like, okay, this is like not even like cute freckles. This is sun damage. <laughs> so I'm like, will, like, will I regret this? I'm not sure. Jury's still out. But right now I'm living. I'm thriving. I love being outside. Because it's not like super hot yet. So it's windy. It's sunny. It's not too humid. It's just like perfect weather. So I've really been loving it. And I'm just going to go in and curl my lashes. I feel like you can be unzoomed a little now. Um, alrighty, so I'm just gonna do mascara. This is just the L'Oreal Voluminous. I don't really pack the mascara on either. And then see like when I done, when I not done. And honestly, like, uh, FaceTime has really helped a lot too for like feeling connected, Zoom happy hours. I always, always get mascara like on my lid. But I'm just kind of like, you know what? We, I leave it because I'm like, okay, girl, you wanted to do a smoky eye today? Okay, cool. And that's what we're going with. My mascara transfers anyways throughout the day, so I'm like, what's it matter? Now for lips. Um, so I either do the Dior Lip Glow in shade 7. Love her, but she is pretty pink. So I'll show you. Which is cute. We love a pink moment. Sometimes I'm not feeling super pink. Some days I'll just go in with the two, the Too Faced lip injection because it gives your face, like, I mean, your your lips a little bit of redness. Um, but almost regardless, I always go in with the with the Kylie Cosmetics liner in Candy K. And I overdraw my lips a little on the outside and right underneath. And I just take my finger and really, I take my finger and soften it. Because I don't want it to, again, like this whole look is just very minimal. Um, easy, simple, like I don't want it to look like I'm wearing a ton of makeup. And I feel like it would just look weird for me personally if I had like not a bunch of face makeup on. And then I had like super overdrawn, like done lips. Okay, so that's pretty much it for lip liner. Um, again, I'll either go over that sometimes with the sometimes with the Summer Fridays balm, sometimes with the Laneige, sometimes the Too Faced or the Dior. Today, I'm just gonna do the Too Faced.
And that is it. My makeup look is complete. Again, whenever I feel like I want a little bit of more rosiness on my cheeks, sometimes I'll go in with the Lancome. I'll do that just so you can like see what it'll look like. But literally just the tiniest amount. Tap it off. So just the tiniest bit of rosiness but anyways i hope that you guys enjoyed this little catch-up chit chat my new makeup routine kind of what i've been doing things that help me stay sane in this time i definitely have made banana bread like five times along with i feel like every other girl in america or probably in the world even before quarantine, this was the makeup that I was doing to just, again, day to day. I'm sure when I go out, whenever the, that will be, like, for a nighttime with the girls out or whatever, I might do a little more. But honestly, I really just love this look. I love being able to see my freckles. I love being able to see skin. It literally feels like I have nothing on. It takes me five minutes, literally, like, five minutes Whenever I'm not filming, I'm not talking, just like slapping it on, doing it. It's just very minimal. I love it. And I've definitely been enjoying the whole like less is more. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any other suggestions, please leave them in the comment section down below. I want to do like a YouTube video a week. That's my goal. You have permission to yell at me if I'm slacking because I really want to do it. I really want to stay consistent. And that's kind of like my next like three month goal is to stay consistent with putting out one YouTube video a week or one Instagram IGTV video. So yes anyways i love you guys and yeah bye i felt like you needed an eye update say hello say hello everyone thrilled as always God. her breath is like next level terrible oh i don't i don't i don't okay Bing.